Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Tuesday here. Risk on. Bit of a squeeze. Let's look, take a look at this Aussie chart. RBA did nothing last night. Uh, RBA says if lifting of restrictions delayed or needed to be reimposed, outcomes could be even more challenging. They were pretty sanguine. Um, didn't mean a whole lot. Uh, Aussie went higher. You can see we've been sort of bouncing on up here. We do believe this is a sell. You could, you could probably do these, this uh, fib retracement from this to this. Fifty percent is uh, sixty four seventy one. The sixty one point eight is uh, sixty four ninety four. Um, maybe give you some ideas or places to sell Aussie today. Let's look at Euro Yen. This is a real conundrum to me. BTPs obviously sodomized yesterday higher. Um, Boons lower. So the spread came in. Euro Yen got trashed. Crazy town, right? Stocks higher. Risk on. Urien still trashed. A real conundrum. Be interesting to see how we how we deal at this uh, 116 figure 10 area. Could be support. We're still waiting. 117.77 is the big number, but that's uh, it's miles away. I'm just bringing this chart up because it doesn't really make a lot of sense, with the exception of the fact that this big green bar was the fix, and. Uh, you know, the fix is exaggerated douchebaggery. So perhaps perhaps that's the answer. Don't know. It'll be interesting, 116 figure 10. Both sides of last week's bar are very important in our eyes. 115.45, 117.77. Euro dollar, everyone's looking at this little, uh, it's pretty steep, this trend line, but might as well draw it for you you guys. Going to get the third touch or maybe not get the third touch today. It's nothing really superlative. It's uh, your basic, uh, I don't know, one week trend line. So anyway, third touch today. We'll see if there's, again, support this 108.90 area. It's kind of the exact same level as that um, 116.10 in Eurian. So we'll see if, if Euro turns or it continues to plunge. Uh, not super clear. Normally I'd be buying here uh, 108.93. You got this horizontal support plus third touch of a trend line. Um, things feel a little bit awkward today. Maybe because we're caught short a little bit of stocks here in the tactical book. Stocks higher, I guess, maybe on vaccine possibilities. Maybe they want to close some gaps. Uh, we, we still didn't exactly close this uh, cash gap. Close 82.50, the high 79.75. I'm going to muck around up here a little bit. Um, we're still bearish. Uh, trend book is short. The tactical book is also short, which is never really a good sign. Um, when you the holding position of the tactical book, when it's to, when you start talk, talking about sort of two three days, usually that means we're defensively trading out of a position to try and get it back to break even. Um, so careful there. Um, stocks look pretty bad for now. So if you're going to add, be patient. What else? Cable, not doing much. Uh, we saw buyers at 124, the figure yesterday. I'm sure there'll be sellers at 125 today. Dollar Swiss, 
we did get paid at 55 yesterday. We did buy 41s and tried to resell uh, 55s. Uh, so we're a little bit short. Uh, not a lot. The real tactical point right hip here is this sort of 90-10 area. So this is where we'll be tactically selling dollar Swiss today. Not to be confused with the trend book, which is just short dollar Swiss. Um, oftentimes, they'll be trading the same position, um, but the parameters are just different. Let's pull up Bitcoin just because I like uh, to pour hot acid into my eyes. We got cleaned out like a lot of people on this move down. We obviously love Bitcoin higher, but it's reminding us of gold. It's fucking hard, right? Um, and on the institutional side of my life, Bitcoin was sort of taken off the table, so um, we don't trade it for the firm. But anyway, we can still look at it and, and uh, we can still own, own some of it personally. But it looks pretty bad. May 12th, there's going to be another halving of rewards for the miners. If you don't know what that is, Google it. Um, Bitcoin looks pretty robust. Fuck you, Bitcoin. Um, just want to throw that out there. Uh, Dollar Norway, one of our horses, crude is cruising. You got to keep your eye on this 1013 or 1014 area. Um, core short, Dollar Norway looks fine. Let's take a look at crude, 2176. How do you like them apples? As a lot of the uh, newsletters pointed out, gold is, has doubled uh, from these $10 lows. Now we're almost at 22 bucks. Um, this is the contract high. This is the June contract high. These highs here from the May contract are, I, I think, less important. And again, technically, I don't think crude is driven by technicals. Um, it's just driven by price and supply and demand. So um, looks pretty good, right? I mean, we don't, we're not long crude, but crude looks pretty good. Does that mean Euro Norway is gonna gonna tip? I don't know. We're waiting for 11, which is a huge pivot, which will be this day back in March 13th before the craziness up to 14. Um, that was the low. Uh, once 11 breaks in Euro Norway, I think it's it, it's got some room to go. Um, but intrinsically, I don't really trust this oil move, so you got to be careful with that. If you believe in all of this risk on, you got to sell some boons today. Um, this doesn't look right. Something's not right. Either stocks are not right or bonds are not right. Uh, bonds remain pretty bid. You can see um, boons on the 174 handle. The yield is minus 56 basis points. As you get to minus 70, you can always you can just sell. Uh, you can just be core short tactically every day. Tens uh, just don't bother. There's just too much buying from the Fed at the moment. They've killed volatility. Uh, just leave it alone. Come to grips with the fact that you're going to miss the first big red bar down in ZN. Get that through your thick skulls now. But once we see that bar, and then we see the story behind it, uh, then we can get involved. So patience what are we doing not much at the open here um, we're going to be quite curious to see how euro yen trades down at 116.10 and how euro dollar trades um, down at 95 or 91 Let's see if these hold we'll be selling dollar swiss high ones today uh, between sort of 85 and 05 and that's about it for now. Um, being a little bit patient, being very patient with stocks. You could argue an hourly close above 2850 is trouble, right? 2850 was kind of our bull bear line. 
Um, so just be careful. If you're tactically short stocks, be careful. If your trend book is short, you know where your stop is. Just leave it. Um, trust it. Uh, but I think a lot of us are, are a little bit awkward here in the uh, S&Ps. So uh, we'll, we will be very, very careful here. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. Uh, good trading ahead. Oh, yeah, subscribe, click clickbait or whatever whatever they want you to do in this digital world um, so the drunk mean fuckers in Dublin don't break my legs uh, thanks bye <laughs>